Hello everyone, Donut Hair. We're socializing Butcher Some. It's a beautiful Saturday. It's a little windy. Got a little chill, but it's nice in the sun out here at Hobo's in Fort Mill. We're gonna take him up to the skate shop after this. He is being the bestest boy in the world. This is influencers in the wild right here. <laughs> He has an Instagram, okay? He does have an Instagram. Hashtag That's one of my- Good Boy Butcher. <laughs> good Boy Butcher on Instagram. It is one of uh, one of my favorite Instagrams, so it's called Influencers in the Wild. Check it out, it's hilarious. I don't know if I've ever done a vlog on Hobos, but look, that's the improper pig over there where we eat it all the time. And this is Hobos. They specialize in burgers and alcoholic milkshakes. They're so good. Yeah, they're super good. They have all these different big ass burgers, like uh, the Sunrise Burger. It's got a fried egg, bacon, cheddar cheese, all that good stuff. They got the Islander, that's a good one too. Grilled pineapple and teriyaki sauce. And then yeah, spiked drinks. The milkshake that we get here all the time that's super good is the Honey Nut Cheerio. That one is really it tastes exactly like a Honey Nut Cheerio. That's Tennessee honey, uh, whiskey, rum chata, and uh, vanilla ice cream. And we've never tried the Thin Mint, but that looks really good too. This is exactly what you want a service dog to do. And the guy we got him from, who you guys saw in that one vlog, he said that they purposefully breed like the temperament into them to be service dogs, so. That's why he's being such a good boy. Hey, baby. Oh, we took him to the vet the other day. I don't think I vlogged that, but he weighs 46 pounds now. It was almost 47, wasn't yeah, it? it was yeah, it was about like 47. 46.6 or yeah, something? Yeah, it was really close to 47. And they said that he's skinny. Yeah, he is. He's still like, he's he's tall, but he's like still super skinny. You can kind of see it right here. Like he eats so much. Yeah, it's not that we don't feed him or anything. We feed him like two cups of food three, three times, times a day. day. And it's really high protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like that Gucci food too. Yeah. But he's just, I don't know, he's just a lanky boy. He's having such a big growth he's spurt right now. Tall. Hi, good boy. Hey, good boy. He's depressed. I love this dog. But look, he's depressed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't say anything. <laughs> look, oh my god, you're kidding me. What? Why is it? It says play a star is born. That's the number one command. <laughs> Get out of here with that. I can't get away from that stupid song and that stupid movie. That's why he's depressed. He probably watched The Star is Born. Oh, no. oh hey, everyone, follow Good Boy Butcher. It's, uh, he's got 10,000 followers now. Our dog has 10,000 followers. Look at this picture Kaylee just got of him. He's so pretty. Look at that. He's such a pretty boy. He's so happy. Oh, he's so sleepy. He had a hard day laying down <laughs> everywhere. Okay. Decided to come up, visit the skate shop real quick. We walk in, and Butcher immediately starts peeing, and then he runs out back and poops. He's just he's a little, little pee machine. We're driving up to Sam's Club, which, if you don't know, is one of those stores where they have you can buy things in bulk. It uh, stands for Sam Walton, as in Walmart, because we legitimately need toilet paper because we're people and we like wiping our butts. And from what we understand, toilet paper is sold out everywhere. So I just kind of want to see if it's also happened to our area. There's a lot gone, but it's they're not out. But like you can tell, yeah, you can tell gone. people are just like hoarding the crap. We're gonna take one pack because we're not stingy buttholes. We got the toilet paper and so far so good. Yeah, I don't know, I'm really con butter? Fish butter? Fish we were really butter? confused by what, what the cookie looking things back there were. Fish made simple tilapia flavored butter and vegetable. So is it just like you just cook food with it or something? This oh, one is fish, fish made, simple, made simple salmon flavored butter and vegetable. I don't know. So it gives things a fishy taste, but butter and herbs at the same time? Ew. Ew. What you get? Some 52 packs of oatmeal. 52 packs of oatmeal. Hey, we're we're ready for the corona, aren't we? Yeah. All right, do we need uh, do we need bulk sriracha? Yeah. What if they ever shut down the factory? They were saying for a while there that the uh, the factory was like making all the residents that live around the factory really angry because it was spicy air. Oh. Yeah. All right, I think we're all ready for the corona apocalypse. We have, uh, we can wash our dishes. We can wash our clothes. We got uh, uh, 12 rolls of toilet paper. We some oranges. Yeah, we can eat the Tide Pods. We've seen that this year. Got some pistachios, some almonds and uh, some ground beef. So I think we're ready, right, John? Yeah, with some Gatorade. And some Gatorades, a pack of Gatorades. <laughs> Without doxing myself too much, look at the moon tonight. It's like super bright. Oh, focus, focus. Look, look at that thing. It's ginormous. Police is gonna have a lot of calls tonight. 
Do you guys know when there's a full moon, there's like way more police and ambulance calls? It's true though, it was crazy, man. When we used to have full moons, we would have so many more, usually domestic violences or like anything involving physical violence. People, people really do have some crazy animal instincts in them and they go nuts when there's a full moon. Hey buddy, update on him, he's feeling a lot better. We've been giving him antibiotics and I just poked him in the eye with my thumb. But his eyeballs are cleaning up and he's got more energy and he's just so happy now. So happy, but he's still skinny. Even though he weighs 47 pounds and he's five months old. And he's bigger than Jeeves, look at that. So crazy how fast you grow up. You're not even done yet. Jones is a cat, but he thinks he's a dog. Butcher's funny because he'll grab Jeeves by the collar and lead him around by the collar too. Just wait till he's 150 pounds and he's doing it, Jeeves. <laughs> Butcher doesn't do well when the back windows are completely down. <laughs> we were in, I'm, glad, I'm glad he did this in the driveway, but we were in the driveway and uh, I rolled the windows down just to get some of the heat out of the car and he just jumps right out the window and belly flops onto the grass. Super glad that was in the driveway and not as I was driving. Huh, Butcher? Uh-huh. <laughs> he feels sorry for himself now. We decided to come up here to Hobo's again. It's me and John. Kaylee's going to be in California for nine days. And look, Butcher lost a tooth. He lost a little tooth as one of his baby teeth. Oh, hell yeah, brother. This makes me think of Joe Dirt so much. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's rad, man. I haven't seen this one down here before. Hey, what's up? It's the boys. It's pop. Do I still have to blur your face? Tyler. Hey guys, look, my buddy Sancho's here. Dang, I actually learned about cross-cut beef short ribs from Matt Best. You may remember my vlog where he made these for me on a Traeger grill. We just got them out, man. I cooked them at like, uh, I think I cooked them at, at 350 for uh, 15 to 20 minutes and I turned it down to 165 for about an hour. Get that good smoky taste in there. Put some Montreal steak seasoning on them. And I bet they're gonna be good. So yesterday, the President of the United States declared the coronavirus a national emergency. And people are making a run on grocery stores and just gen being generally crazy. Walmart uh, here, close to where we live, is completely just eradicated. There is nothing left in there. I'm gonna be sitting at home probably with John for the next two weeks. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, probably do a lot of streams, try and do some cooking streams too. Maybe play some Tarkov. Maybe play some Tarkov, both of us. 